Hey y'all, I'm doing a quick tour of the garden because things are really popping and growing right now. So have to do it kind of quickly. Let's get going. We got squash down here at the end. And as you can see, those flowers are coming in. And oh, we got our first, we got our first um, vegetable down there. Let's see if we can turn around and see it. Oh, look at there. Crooked neck baby squash. Nice. I don't see anything here. I had a concern because the um, flowers are still coming in, but I had gotten some browning on the leaves. I didn't cut them off. I looked for disease. I didn't see anything, but clearly there's something wrong with these, these leaves here. If anybody knows what that is, I would love somebody to tell me because it does look like something's eating on it, but I can't see it. So I didn't want to cut the leaves off because I didn't want to, you know cause an issue in the plant but i may have to go ahead and cut them off just so we can uh spare them from getting on to the other squash all right we got another one here so we got three total we got flowers on it some of them are looking okay some look like they're having a little problem so we may have to check for a fungus or something right now i think it's doing okay but we'll see hey y'all so I was in investigating my leaves trying to see why my squash leaves have this damage but while I was doing it I found this so I'm thinking one of those uh, moths landed with the boring um, squash uh, worm and I cut it off down at the base but it looks like he already went through and got into the base I'm all do a little bit more research see if I can pour anything down there that can kill it but um, we'll see hey guys so I was in the squash patch um, and I, I looking under the leaves looking on the uh, stems and I found um, some more of those um, larvas so I just cut the leaf out I'm gonna kill them but um this is what you'll be looking for when you're looking for those bugs if you can remove them from your squash that is what you want you want to make sure like i said how i've been taking care of them i'll cut off cut off the stem and i fill it with my um diatomous earth dawn and um, um neem oil solution and whatever crawled in there that usually seems to kill it and the plant has been thriving so just a technique i'm hearing about and figuring out so this was the leaf that i cut not this one where's the leaf i cut it out of yeah this is the leaf that i cut those off of and they were on the back of the leaf so you want to make sure you're checking the back of your leaves um checking the back of your leaves to make sure you don't have any eggs distributed and the stems to make sure you don't have any le um, eggs distributed on the leaves so i'm gonna finish maintenancing this i'm basically removing some of the old stems filling them up with uh, fluid but they're doing really well up oh, there's some more look at there guys i see another um Y'all see them? Right there. I'll need to remove those. So once these things get loose on your plant, um, you definitely will have a problem. So I'm going to cut those off and continue to inspect the plant to make sure I don't see any more. Man, these, these bugs. Boy, I know they're trying to survive, but I'm trying to survive too. <laughs> 